Hey guys, well, uh, as I was walking in this uh, open field, um, I stumbled upon this. Um, this is the Eastern Cotrip or uh, Mastacovis flagellum flagellum. Um, it's calmed down quite a bit since I caught it, um, but he did bite me pretty good. Um, I have yet to see a coach up that would just let me pick it up. Um, these snakes are the fastest snake in the United States, hands down. There's nothing that can beat a coach whip. Um, habitats, uh, they live in areas that are sand hills, dry areas, um, and that they can also be found in mangroves. Um, this is a prime, prime habitat for the eastern coach whip snake. Um, these guys eat a wide variety of prey. They eat everything from mice to other snakes. As juveniles, they eat insects and uh, lizards. Um, a lot of times, race runners are found in the bellies of the juveniles. Um, so, babies, when they're found, um, they're just pretty much like this color here. But as they age, they just get this really cool looking dark color to them. And uh, they're, they're actually quite intelligent snakes and everything. Um, obviously, uh, with these large eyes they have here, um, a lot of people would think, you know, just because something has large eyes means it's nocturnal. That's not true. Uh, the snake is completely diurnal. Um, they use those large eyes for uh, peripheral vision, and they do something called periscoping when they literally lift their head up over this tall grass. And you can see this area around here does have quite a bit of tall grass. And, I, you know, these, this guy blends in great with the habitat around here. But uh, he'll be able to find his prey items a lot better. You know, he'll be able to see a field mouse running, you know, far out in front of him he's gonna be able to see the birds you know they love eating birds and stuff like that you know um they'll get them right out when they go start to fly and stuff they'll go ahead and grab them and they'll just bring them right down um these snakes do not kill their food by constriction they just completely overpower their prey and eat that so um uh, so, since they eat other snakes um they're good to have around like all snakes um they do get a, a little bit bigger than this the biggest one on record was 102 inches that's a big snake so um and right now this time of year they're going looking for uh, mates and stuff this is an adult male i can tell just by how thick and long his tail is there but um but yeah uh they're not doing so well in north carolina because north carolina has uh they you know, i've heard they've had a lot of habitat loss there i know they're a lot more harder to come by but uh but here in florida they're doing really good um and there are some parts of florida where these uh snakes are completely tan um, that mostly occurs in the northern part of Florida. Um, and there's also a few other different species of coach whip. There's the, uh, the uh, western coach whip, the line coach whip, which is practically the same thing. Um, and then there's some other one called like a San Joaquin coach whip or something. It's some kind of funky name like that. But I apologize if I got that wrong for, for all you coach whip lovers. But, uh, but yeah, this is one of my favorite snakes and stuff. And it's just an awesome, awesome find to see this. And... Um, I figured I would see one today because right now, I, you know, this is the only snake I see during the day that's um, out when the heat is at its most. Um, it's 91 degrees right now. Uh, ground temps obviously a lot hotter. So, um, but yeah, uh, we'll go ahead and put this guy back and and uh, see what else we can find today.